See, basketball is not an equal opportunity sport. You know who gets to shoot more? The better shooters. You know who gets to play more? The better players. It's not equal opportunity. We don't divide the number of shots by 15. Better shooters get to shoot more. So then what do you do if you want to shoot more? You become a better shooter. How do you become a better shooter? You put in the work during the unseen hours to earn the right to take more shots or to get more minutes. Star in the role you have, work for the role you want. If you think you should be able to shoot threes and at present you don't quite have that green light, then come in during the unseen hours and make three or four hundred threes before and after every single practice. You know the only result of coming in and shooting game shots from game spots at game speed every day before and after practice? You know the only result even possible from that? It's improvement. It's getting better. You make 300 free throws every day before and after practice. You know the only thing possible that will happen to your free throw percentage? It goes up. It's the only thing possible. And you guys are in control of that. Who do you all think is the best shooter to ever play this game? Curry's at least in the conversation, right? So at that Kobe Bryant Skills Academy, Curry was one of the uh, college counselors. And I was just meeting him for the first time as well. Now this is before he kind of blew up and became the Stephen Curry that we're all aware of now. This was after his sophomore year at Davidson. And at the end of that first workout at the Skills Academies, he came up to me and he tapped me and said, Coach, will you rebound for me? Because I don't leave the gym until I swish five free throws in a row. Think about that for a second. As a standard of excellence, he will not leave the gym until he swishes five free throws in a row. You guys are elite level players and many of you are elite level shooters. Can you admit that's a pretty high standard? Swishing five in a row? It means you swish four in a row, you still hit the rim on the fifth one, it still goes in. You're still five for five, you're still mathematically perfect. That wasn't good enough for Steph. He'd start over. And if memory serves, I don't think it ever took him longer than 15 minutes to swish five in a row. So you guys believe he's the best shooter on the planet. I agree with you, but it's not by accident and it's not by luck. It's because he's willing to hold himself to a high standard. However, this is not an individual sport. This is, this is basketball, which means it's a team game. It's a we over me game. And this is somewhat of a rhetorical question. I'm not asking to call anybody out or anybody to raise their hand, but each and every one of you in this room, and this includes the staff, you need to know your role on this team. You need to embrace your role on this team. And you need to work your backside off to star in your role on this team. And here's the hard part. Even if your role's not what you want it to be. Even if your role's not of your preference. See, your role on this team is what Coach Oates and the rest of the staff need it to be for the team to be successful. So you need to work to star in your role to the best of your ability, but then you come in during the unseen hours to work towards a bigger role. If you don't like your role on the team, if you think you should be a starter and you're not a starter, there's nothing wrong with thinking that. But you have to embrace being a non-starter and making maximum contribution every single day, and then you come in after hours during the unseen hours and you work on the areas of your game that might give you a potential to get more minutes or to start. You star in the role you have, you work for the role you want.